2014, the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council commissioned the first ever productivity study to be carried out in St. Lucia. As part of the study, consultations were held with stakeholders in the private and public sectors, as well as with various groups within the wider population. As a result, the completed study highlights the areas of low productivity within society and therefore acts as a guide in regards to the future work of the NCPC and the government in formulating the necessary policies and strategies needed to address the issues of productivity. In addition to measuring national productivity, an assessment of six sectors of the economy were undertaken. The sectors assessed were the financial services, agriculture, manufacturing, education, hotels and restaurants, and construction. Although each of the sectors showed areas where productivity was lacking, a couple of sectors stood out as showing productivity growth in relation to output and employment. One of these sectors being the construction sector. Due to our findings, the NCPC looked to one of the sector's own, Mr. Winston Cyril, Managing Director of Rex Inc., to find out why he thought that the sector seemed to be flourishing in relation to productivity. As people develop, businesses develop, individuals develop, they're, they're going to have the need for construction because people are developing, they're going to build their own homes. Um, businesses are developing, businesses are growing, they're going to have their um, own space available, they're going to have need their own office space. Um, other businesses that are evolving are going to need business space. Um, uh, the tourist industry, as it continues to grow, you're going to, need, you're going to have a need for construction. So the construction industry will continue to grow as long as people continue to develop and the country continues to develop. We also discussed his own advocacy in regards to productivity, his need to see the industry continue to grow, and his hopes and wishes for the young who are now striving forth within the industry. In order for the industry to continue to strive, you must have new blood coming in. You must have young people coming in. And a lot of older people I've found, in my personal experience, are set in the ways already. So you need change in the industry. Things are changing, you know, constantly. And the mindset of a lot of young people um, um, is very casual. Um, they just look at it as earning a quick dollar. So what I would really like to see is young people um, looking at the construction industry as a career. Well, when I just entered the company, I didn't know anything. Now I could do carpentry work, masonry, plumbing, welding. I'm with Winston. He's always a teacher, you know, with every aspect of the, of the business, right? Whether it's in how to answer the, the phone, to speak to the clients properly, and that's just the type of person that he is. You know, um, when I first started here, I knew absolutely nothing. And before everything, even at the interview, he told me whatever it is that I don't understand, I could come to him, you know, and explain, he'll explain it to me. And that's just the procedure that every department at Rex has. If we as a person cannot understand something, we speak to him, he has other people in place that we could speak to if we cannot get to him to understand. Um, we have NSDC, we know, that provide training, um, especially for people in the trades. And I must say, um, we usually have interns from NSDC, and NSDC does a good job. But that's just NSDC. Um, you're looking at um, South Louis Community College. We have people that come in from South Louis Community College. In fact, we've provided internship for them in the past. And they come in, you know, of um, uh, with the theory about the construction industry, but a lot of them don't come prepared to really work hard in the construction industry. You know, um, they think it's a job where, you know, you sit at a desk and you look at figures and you look at those type of things. But the construction industry is not like most businesses. Every project has a definite start date and a definite finish date, a completion date. And it has to be produced within that period of time. So as you get delays, the output have become greater. So if you don't have, so if you have only training in the theory, and you don't have sufficient training in the practical aspect of it, you don't quite understand what is needed of you, then um, it's going to continue to affect productivity. 
the construction sector, in my opinion, uh, is almost or could almost be the thriving sector on the island. Um, when I think of construction, I think of growth for the economy. Uh, this, the, the smallest person, the laborer, the helper, uh, when he's employed, his family gets to eat. Um, his, his wife could go to the supermarket, could go to the clothing store, um, patronize, buy something, and the proprietor of that store could now go and do something else. So the money really circulates. Um, professionals within the sector need to communicate and play an active role to train not just persons directly related to them, but also contractors. Because we don't have a school for contractors. Our contractors really learn from the trades. So a trademan, a carpenter, a mason, over the years, learning, observing, um, could consider himself as a contractor because he would know. Um, sometimes you have this, the same tradesmen acting as foremen and f uh, from, from being a foreman, they graduate to being a contractor. So uh, as I said, there isn't a school for contractors. So professionals who've gone to school, um, because of the, the knowledge and experience with good communication and cooperation, uh, if we share some of our skills, as I said, with the contractors, um, I believe it could impact and improve on the quality overall. Um, there are many obstacles in the industry and um, all of these obstacles affects productivity. And um, some of those obstacles, obstacles are the workforce. It was kind of difficult for me in the start because I used to always come to work late. I used to always be absent. And the boss talked to me. I got fired a couple of times. And until I get it right. So if, if employers, contractors are patient with um, the staff, uh, you, you may be surprised we could identify a lot of skill with whoever you bring on board. So for me, it all boils down to patience. The unfortunate thing is that in construction, I mean, productivity, time is money. So if you continue to be patient with a staff and he's just not, not performing, you tend to lose money. So uh, it's really up to the contractor to strike a balance between how much time he wants to invest with who he could consider to be a good worker. There is room for the sector to grow. I mean, there is no doubt. And, 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 and I believe that the EMS sector will continue to grow because the, the country will continue to develop, individuals will continue to develop, business places will continue to develop. But it cannot continue to um, develop um, unless there is a mindset. I think for St. Lucia, yes, construction is everlasting. You know, buildings always go up, come down for new things to go up. So there is always room for progress in, with construction in any country, really. But St. Lucia, I, like I said, um, as long as we can definitely band together, bigger things can happen. Well, there's always scope and there's always um, potential for construction. I, I cannot see our construction sector dying. Uh, it won't die. It's, it's sustainable, it will sustain itself. I mean, constructions will pass on, others will come. Uh, workers will pass on, others will come. So it's something that we need. We, we, I believe that we need to put things in place to standardize the sector. Uh, it's another thing that we lack. We have, we, if something is put in place, maybe from the, by the authorities, to standardize the sector, then it will become sustainable. Those coming on could add on to the standards that we, we leave or we pass on to them to only improve it. But if we continue without standards, uh, it will only frustrate the clients and perhaps even the contractors. The construction industry here in St. Lucia continues to grow. However, as was indicated, certain steps and procedures will have to be implemented for the sector to continue on this path. A combined effort seems to be the only way to make this happen. And if all involved are serious about seeing the division continue to prosper, it is a combined effort that one and all will have to take. For more information on productivity awareness and development, call the NCPC at 468-5576 or 468-5571 or visit our website at www.stluciancpc.org and be sure to join us next time for some more Productivity Matters.